Hi, and warm welcome to the Quantum Astrology Report with me, Eva Christofferson, and our company, Soul Very Energy. This is about the new moon, the 7th of November, and also in the changes nodes into Capricorn Cancer and Uranus into Aries, etc. And the new moon, it's a new beginning, it's a new cycle again, time to set your intentions and for the new moon the 7th of november it will be at 5:02 p.m central european time i will do a rune this one it's fehu that's abundance that's the start rune the first one and uh, it's time for us to create our own richness with self-worth and gratitude and relaxation and everything and everything we're still purging uh, we're still in this phase of cleansing but it's time for fehu abundance on all level and we also have a great abundance when we see it in our lives and feel feel it thank you fehu and i will also draw a quantum tarot card it's 80 cards a mix between quantum physics and tarot And this one is four, four of swords, four of swords. Uh, sword cutting through the old matrix. Number four, stability, spiritual integrity, uh, organization, etc. And we'll see what my little book says about the four of swords. For the new moon, in uh, Scorpio, of course, the deep waters of Scorpio. Uh, four of sword. It's Neutrinos. I've done my my uh, majors in science in, with the aspect of neutrinos. It's very very small particles. Uh, with a very special low energy mass and here it represents a period of rest and meditation of time spent alone in reflection and the neutrinos in the holographic reality is very lonely because they are so small so they pass through everything I each moment 10 billions neutrinos pass through your it's second 10 billion neutrinos pass through your hand in the physics theory and here is the card for meditation relaxation rest that's really nice here in november and we can need it also are you allowing yourself enough in the space are you allowing yourself enough in the space because this is a massive, huge ascension, a change. So we need to be very careful about ourselves and to really prioritize ourselves also. Thank you, Neutrino. And now to the chart. Mm, and here we have uh, no, there was no chart one moment i will i will fix it i have to open it i have it here so mm, here ah, it, it's better i check again so it's correct now it's coming up here here we have sun in scorpio it's 7th of november 502 p.m Central European time in Europe, in Sweden. 
And we have sun and moon in conjunction at 15 degrees, 11 minutes in Scorpio. And it's uh, six and two, that's eight. Manifestation, abundance. And it's in the fifth house, this occasion, creativity, uh, play, joy, freedom. And it's with Mother Earth, Demeter, and uh, it's Ceres, this asteroid, also Demeter, and Venus. And Venus now has gone back to October. Soon it will be uh, finishing its retrograde period at 25 degrees something in Libra with the fixed star Arcturus, our electromagnetic helpers. And here it's the, where the sun and moon is. It's the star region of the Libra uh, constellation. Mm. <laughs> and we have this ascendant for this occasion <coughs> is at 15 degrees in Gemini. In the beginning of the Orion constellation, also Eridanus constellation, the end of the Eridanus, the elves, the magical, mythical animals. We have the North Node now in Cancer, as I recommend my last report, if you haven't seen that, about the North and South Node changing sign. Now in the emotional node during Cancer, we will buy Moon, and Moon now then is in Scorpio. And the North Node is in the second house of self-worth, of value. We have Isis Osiris, the marriage between Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine in the third house expression of this in the royal Leo sign. Uh, Pallas Athena, it's not, it's a warrior goddess, but it's at the dimensional portal here, super galactic center. And then we have a big fifth house uh, with the new moon. We have taught Mercury at Antares Aldebaran with Jupiter soon going in, I think, I think it's the 16th of November, Jupiter will go into Sagittarius. That will be a great shift from the deep waters of Scorpio, the secrets revealing the emotional Scorpio to the truth, the wisdom, uh, the knowledge, the Sagittarius, the nature laws, the cosmic laws, the interdimensional laws. Uh, non-personal sign, Sagittarius, which has the centaur, Chiron as a symbol, and Mercury taught this here at Antares Aldebaran, the royal fixed Antares, an interdimensional portal to Andromeda galaxy and to others, other uh, regions, and also ruled by Jupiter and Mars. Antares is a lot about uh, anger also, to not store that one. It has been misused. And it's opposition to Aldebaran, the illumination, the royal fixed star of Buddha, to lighten up your own inner, so you can get reflected back with that light. And uh, it's in the sixth house, and that's about daily routines. So now we, we need to uh, get our communication and the daily routine, take care of ourselves, expand our self-knowledge, the nurturing of ourselves, do not know to manifest that with ourselves. Take care of the food, the, the movement, the exercises, and not go down in stress, not distract yourself, leave uh, some, leave those patterns that you have still left, that you know is not good for yourself. Uh, change. And if you want to check uh, quantum biology, I recommend Bruce Lipton on YouTube, Bruce Lipton, quantum biology, that what 
what our consciousness, our mind, is the creator of our whole holographic reality. So it's also the creator when we are in pain, we have some resistance against the change or something. And be very kind to yourself, be compassionate with yourself, speak with yourself, take care of yourself, the sixth house with uh, Mercury and Jupiter. Then we have Saturn in the seventh house. Saturn with some great aspect to Uranus. And Saturn is our holographic reality in its home, Capricorn. And here it's in the seventh house. So you, you, it's about relationships. You can meet some authorities. You can meet uh, resistance also, challenges, because Saturn will will as Uranus and Pluto they will will really challenge everything that isn't in your soul path, especially in this time. And then in the eighth house, the house of transformation, we have Pluto, your soul, that transform on a very long scale. We have MC, your work, what you show in the middle of the day, the midheaven, closely together with the south node. So you show your origin now also in this period. And you have a contact. And the origin is not only the bad one. We have a lot of, for example, Stasi, the origin from... Here is Aquila. Uh, the bird people is here. And and uh, we have a lot of contacts like like Mercury and Antares, etc. Uranus at Andromeda, etc. Venus at Arcturus. So it's, it's also your region, emotional region, if you are a starseed. And if you want to check that, you can uh, check our website or the, under here. I have a service that will check that one up. Uh, it's also your emotional uh, background here, in especially your childhood and other karma lives here that's coming up and be will be shown in this period now coming up, the moon, the month following the full moon to the next, following the new moon to the next new moon. So set an intention to cleanse and purge yourself or set an intention what, what you like to do in this time frame. Then we have Mars in the ninth house, divine masculine. When you take your step in Aquarius with freedom, you're coming into more knowledge. And here's also Neptune, knowledge, knowledge about the source, about the spirit. And we have Chiron in the 10th house, uh, the wounded healer. That's also the same as, as uh, MC and in interpretation, the 10th house. The wounded healer in a big trine to not know Manifesting now cancer nurturing emotional and back to Jupiter expanding late degrees of Scorpio and the the late degrees as we have here 29 29 and 28 they are very powerful the most powerful degrees in the shot is uh, the late degrees 28 28 28 29 degrees and then the zero point energy of from zero to one. And in one way, the first degree. These are the most powerful in my experience degrees. And now it's time to finish the job with healing the wound to the spiritual, to, to the source, to the religious, etc. And this is helping us so much. And it, it's this big trying, it's the easy flowing energy. You just has you can just uh, observe it it will happen and connect it with your youth because it, it will be patterns coming up that you repeat from your childhood with your parents in this life and that's why because you want to heal them you have selected that one and it's a finger of god here also as i spoke about last in last video so isis osiris the divine masculine marriage expression of this one in Leo, the light of this to the wounded healer and Chiron and back to Venus and Demeter here, Mother Earth and divine 
uh, feminine Venus at Arcturus, and it's pointing at this to heal thy wounds. And it's uh, this is a very important point in this shot, uh, Chiron. And it's a sextile to MC on the south node. That means it's a force uh, that can connect you. It's a powerful connection with your origins in all those levels that you that you have you have multi-dimensional levels to connect with. And it's a trine to the north node, an easy flowing energy to what you what you how you nurture and how you do your self worth value and leave the not good enough and then we have uranus in the 11th house uranus the rebel in now in areas going from fixed taurus to cardinal areas and the cardinal signs areas uh, cancer capricorn and libra they are then the, the one that forces change especially Aries, Cancer, and Capricorn. Uh, Libra can force this, but it's more, can be also be a little more uh, non-conflict, all that stuff that Libra's, that is a hindrance, but harmony balance is really forcing a change to get everything in balance. But now Uranus is in fiery Aries, in the 11th house, the home, the 11th house is like uh, Aquarius. It's about freedom, it's about originality, it's the quantum space we have within and without. And it's creating from this, the quantum I am areas to create your own reality and get that reflected back. Yeah, we have a lot more aspects going on, especially this uh, big square or grand cross. cross. Uh, but I took that in the nodes, so you can listen, listen to the last video, but it's really forcing us to change and trust that you are here in this time frame, then you are powerful. Then you, you just relax, breathe, take care of yourself, and then everything will show up as it's supposed to do. See the signs, see the numbers. Uh, observe yourself, detach from every outcome, and everything is well. All is here. It's energy from us and from above uh, changing us. It's big energy time. So, if you want a reading, check details below. Thank you very much for being here in this magical time. New moon, new intention, new moon is Scorpio. Bye-bye.